Hello guys and welcome back into a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Slack API. So make sure to watch the video to the end and follow these simple steps. So basically for this video, we're just going to follow the documentation of how you can use Slack with API. So basically you can just go to the api.slack.com and from there you will find like the documentation of how to use the Slack. And basically here we are on the web API. And you can also find this here in the APIs and basically on the web API we can find the overview. And basically you will be needing already like to get an API bot token so you can start interacting with the methods of this API. So to get and use like API bot token you will need just to get or uh, get an app so you can start using the API's methods. And basically now we want to get our credentials so we can start uh, using the methods so from this page we will find this create app so let's just go to our working space we click on next and from here we will find this app and basically it will give us our authentic uh, authentication method and let's just click on create and now we have my api and make sure like to have like uh, everything uh, to be like uh, secret and so you can start like adding the tokens that you will need to use so i'm just going to generate a token and at the scope you can add like connection and write or whatever like you want it and then just copy click on done and then you go to your api and basically those are the things that you will be needing so for example here in the method access you will find this is uh, like uh, the endpoint so you will be needing just to go to your api and after that you will need just to add this api chat dot post message this is just like uh, an endpoint that i have choose there is like a list of endpoints that you can use and let's just stick with this one and in the headers of your http request you will be needing like to add this token as an argument or uh, to add the token that we have just copied into the token header so as you can see in the token bearing required scope you will need just to pass it in the authorization header and after that you will need just to do uh, to add your parameters for your uh, scope so as you can see there is the bot tokens that we have added and the user token and then you can just like uh, send this http request and basically that's it thank you for watching and see you next time